Mr. Speaker, I see hate. Mr. Speaker, I see bitterness. Mr. Speaker, I see acrimony. Mr. Speaker, I see animosity. And Mr. Speaker, I see a man completely out of control. Completely out of control, Mr. Speaker. That is what I see. And that problem is not a new problem to me, you know. I was aware of the tendency for the Honourable Member to go out of control since 1987. I went to the Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago in August 2003 as a Minister of Government in Trinidad and Tobago, a PNM Minister, and told him that there was bid rigging taking place in Udicott. What the Commission of Inquiry is looking at is ten times worse than what happened with Piaco Airport. And it's even more brazen. It's a 64 glossy page document that speaks of the gains made by the PNM since 2001 and promising massive development to come, a manifesto carrying the title Caring About You Today and Tomorrow. It's all based on the party's vision to make the country a developed one by 2020. Prime Minister Patrick Manning pointing to the party's successes so far. Since 2001, 85,000 new sustainable jobs were created and by 2009, almost 600,000 persons were employed, the highest in our nation's history. There's a big promise to diversify the energy sector even further. A U.S. $2.5 billion gas to polypropylene project for the establishment of a major plastics industry in our country, an aluminum smelter which will produce 125,000 metric tons of aluminium annually in the first instance. And in the area of technology, the Tamana Industrial and Technology Park. Where we have already made significant progress in the establishment of fiber optics to the curb for increased productivity and efficiency, and through which we will become one of the top 10 countries in the world with this facility. He also pointed to new industries he says a PNM government would create. We will establish a major dry dock facility in Trinidad and Tobago, as well as a shipyard later on for ship repair and ship building. We are also now moving into the area of aircraft maintenance. And six highways are among the plans for infrastructure. Including highways from San Fernando to Miaro, San Fernando to Point Fortin, Wallafield to Manzanilla, Carani to Piaco, Curep to Princess Town and a causeway over the Gulf of Paria from Port of Spain to Chagaramas. These plans, he says, are not being heard of by the other side. Not just generalizations of statements of intent, but some plan that can measure up to what we present today. The UNC will launch its manifesto later this week. your case everybody has a chance to do it but not like my good friend the minute you oppose my good friend mr speaker the minute you oppose my good friend he gets very very angry and if you oppose him strongly mr speaker he becomes a raging bull and that is what this government is not prepared to act that is what it was we just were not prepared to accept that This country cannot call to order its prime minister and his cabinet and his political party to say we are not accepting that, then God help us. 